hate you. I know. No, but I really hate you now because you've driven the Ford GT40 and I never have. I mean, what is it next week? You're going to lick Helena Christensen? Look, <laughs> I'm sure you could drive a GT40 if you really wanted to. I can't. I'm too tall. Mm, yeah, you mean fat. <laughs> Tall. <laughs> Horizontally tall. <laughs> but listen, whatever dimension is the problem, I can't drive one. You know Google have been trying to build a, a, a self-driving car for seven years they've been at it. I've got a picture of it here. It's absolutely hideous. And I was thinking, well, how hard can it be? Oh, God. No. <laughs> Ten days ago, I thought, well, I'll give it a bash, OK? And I've already finished it. Have you? Yes, it's here. Is it? Yes, it's here. Let's bring it out. It's phone-operated. So, um, hang on. What? Just set, no, here it comes. Right, forwards. <laughs> forwards. Please try not to be distracted by the harrowing scenes <laughs> of left, left, straight. <laughs> the harrowing scenes of Simon's lifeless corpse being fished <laughs> from the harbour. I know that's upsetting for now. some this... people. Right, OK, we need to make a bit of a hole in the crowd back here because I'm going to bring it into the tent studio so you can see how brilliant I've been. Forwards. Oh, really? That is brilliant. It's Thank you, everybody. Left. Left. It's, left. It's left. hideous. Forwards. It's Stop. so old on. Stop. It's not brilliant, it's hideous is what it is. How can you say it's hideous? I've copied Google styling completely. <laughs> is that a septic tank? Yes, it is. <laughs> Cut in half, and then I've mounted on the top this chaise long so the owner can recline in great comfort. Yeah, yeah. How does it actually work? Brilliantly. Down here, very small, little camera. That feeds a view of the road ahead to the system inside. What system? Well, there's bonnets here. Come round, I'll show you the, the gubbins. Ready? <clears throat> there it is. Well, it's just a man! <laughs> it's just a man in there! Listen. No. No. It's not just a man, this is a Romanian man. <laughs> I am providing employment for newcomers to our country. Oh, God. What do you mean, oh, God? Think about it. Google, yes, Google, they use electronics to take away the work of a man. This gives him a job, it gives him dignity. Dignity? Yes, dignity. <laughs> It's a bit feudal, isn't it? It's a bit brilliant, is what it is. Let me close the bonnet. I'm going to go for my first ever drive. I'll go to the foot of our stairs here, which is a Yorkshire expression. The great thing is, it's so easy to get in and out of, you know. Look, there I am. <laughs> and now I don't need the phone, I can use my speaking tube. Oh, God! <laughs> There's a man in there! What's Romanian for backwards? In Naiupi, I think. In the yuppie. It is, obviously. It's bilingual. <laughs> this is evil. Google hasn't made it work. I have. In it backwards. I'll just stick to English. Backwards. <laughs> backwards. <laughs> British engineering, ladies and gentlemen, with Romanian parts. What a combination that is. <laughs> Sit out of my head. Whatever. Wow. Yeah. Even more startling was Jeremy's choice of counterweight. Uh, how are you going to get it on there? It's going to jump. Oh, yeah, they're big jumpers, Cash. Look, you see, it wants to. He's limbering up. He's getting ready, you can tell. Up, you can. It's not going to jump. They can't jump. Up, you come. On the off chance that this isn't a jumping cow, mm. which it might not be. I don't think I, it is. I think you need a ramp. You hold that. I shall go and make a ramp. Hello. Hello. Hello, nice cow. Oh, it's bonded with you, Jeremy. It's bonded. See, the thing is that in Holland, there are these motorist accessory stores. OK? Um, yeah. They're open all night. Places full of... We actually went to one last night, bought a whole load of amazing stuff you can use on the road. 
and bring it over here. Let's show you a couple of things. I mean, this, for example, it's an incredible safety device. Yeah. No, this is this is very clever because oh. in a lot of car crashes, oh. uh, people bite their tongue sometimes off. Oh. But by wearing this neat safety device, oh. no way is he biting his tongue. Look at that. Oh. Perfectly safe. That is clever. Unbelievable. Well and then you can get traffic cones that fit in the glove box. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. It's not funny stuff. This is safety material. No, these, these are quite compact, so you can fit them in your boot. Thing is, though, OK, in America, as I'm sure you know, there are high occupancy vehicle lanes. Um, you're not allowed to go in them unless you've got two or more people in the car. Now, we've always been very worried in Europe that these, this idea is going to come over here. But the Dutch have it covered because in these motorist accessory shops, you can buy inflatable people. We've got one here. Very clever, that's very clever. Isn't it? I mean, the only slight issue is they do take a lot of effort to blow up. It's hard work doing it. It doesn't matter, though, because here's the thing. OK, if you arrive at one of those high-occupancy vehicle lanes, then you pull over on the hard shoulder, just past the duchy on the left-hand side here, and then use your engine to blow up. Your, uh, your inflatable person. So I'm going to do that now just to show you how unbelievably easy this is. Are we ready? Just uh, put a bit of fuel in there and here we go. Why have you put your fingers in your ears? It's only a V8. It's virtually silent. <laughs> Right, the, um, the inflatable person has split. There's... Oh, dear. Mine's all right. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Once we were in the countryside proper, I continued my sightseeing tour. Look, I've drawn your badge on a hill. Jeremy did that one. Sorry. Eventually, we arrived at Stonehenge. That, you'll be amazed to learn, is an ancient calendar. Or a clock. Or a church. My tour of Britain was then interrupted by an unwelcome arrival. Oh. What are you doing here? Well, I have come to remind you, because you've obviously forgotten, because you're too giddy, that we have no need for the Mustang in Britain. Because if you want to spend, what, £30,000, £35,000 on a fast fort, you'd buy a Focus RS, because that was designed for here. No, you'd settle for that in the UK because you couldn't buy this, but now you can. That is the point. That's what I mean. Would you wear chaps? No because we have trousers. What about cowboy? Oh, you are cowboy boots. Well, it's appropriate, isn't it? I'm welcome. Listen, I don't want everything from America. I just want the Mustang. Amer Stupid. No, America. It wasn't designed for here. Would you wear a Stetson? Well, it's no. cold out, I'll wear a Stetson. No, you'd wear a bobble hat. That's a bobble hat. Uh, oh, you no, hang on. I've just realized. What? Um, I, I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> James is making such a racket, isn't he? It's worse than last time. The difference on this trip, well, he's been tearing nature apart. Oh, no. I've never felt closer to him. Well, he's just messing in the other ways. Holy cow. Hammond. What? Oh. What are you doing? You couldn't see it. There's a tr it's a hedge That's trimmer. my community, you rural bastard! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 